Peace world, it's Seth Free and I'm coming here for All World. And I got next to me today is Jalen Green from the Houston Rockets. Mm -hmm. Peace man, good to have you with us. Appreciate it. So you know All World is about basketball all over the world. Let's talk about where you're from first, which is Fresno. How was it growing up playing basketball? Uh, it was super cool. Um, I had a lot of people supporting me in Fresno. Um, I've been playing basketball since like seventh grade. That's when I really took it like seriously, probably like eighth grade. And then, um, yeah, as soon as I got to high school, just kind of blew up. How important is AAU to you? You know, just this, like that system of basketball. AAU was super important to me, uh, just because that's really how I got my name out. Mm. Um, playing AAU and like going to camps and stuff. You know, you go and play against the top guys, see what you really made of when you go to those camps and AAU games. So yeah, it was super important. Super important. Cool, cool. If you had to pick anywhere in the world that you could play ball, where, where's somewhere that you want to play basketball at? Anywhere in the world? The U.S. for sure. That's a fact. That's you a know, fact. We got the best athletes you know we got the best competitors i think it's better than your league or playing overseas so yeah i like usa okay let's just talk about that that feeling of like putting all the hard work in and you finally arrived to to being in the league you know how, how is that how was it that feeling you know getting drafted and you know being picked on the houston rockets it was kind of like a relief like right off your shoulders I mean, even though it's like motivation to make you keep going harder, it's like all that work that you put in, all them hours, all them sacrifices you made finally paid off. So it was a good like little thing that happened when we got drafted. Yeah, so I think it's, it's more than a, a little thing. It's, yeah, it's, for it's sure. Big but I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know what I meant though. No, no doubt. So let's talk about your new home, which is Houston. Mm -hmm. You know, um, how you feel about being, being here in Houston? What, like, what do, you, what do you love about this the place already? Uh, I think just the culture. Um, you know, everyone's so into the sports. You know, you got good music, people who do hip hop and stuff out here, and then we got good food. Yeah, so it's just a vibe's home now. That's a fact, that's yeah. a fact. Basketball and music goes hand in hand. Like, just talk about, Explain to us some of the music that you listen to, you know, but to get you hyped up for the game. What's some of your favorite music to listen to now? Mm, I listen to a lot of headbangers before the game. That's wow. how it give me like wow. Get you hyped? Yeah, give me hype. Um probably like NBA on boy. Yeah. Probably listen to Uzi. Uh, Uzi I've been yeah. listening to Yeet lately. Okay. Uh yeah, I, I kinda like that type of music. Just cause like up tempo, yeah, like get that adrenaline pumping. Exactly. So Uzi definitely gonna make you do that. For sure. You doing the I wanna rock dance? So. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. Yeah. Um, let's talk about this fashion, how you know, fashion on the court and off the court. You know, um, I think you know, you definitely one of the flyest youngins in the league right now. Appreciate it. Definitely. Um, how important is fashion to you um just on and off the court? I think it's super important to me. Um, yeah, I think it's just a different way to express yourself. Just like, if it's like, you say like art, you want to express your, yourself through your art. But yeah, you can you can put on different clothes, try different looks, whatever you like, you can just put it together. And you know, if you rock it, you rock it. But I mean, you gotta you gotta wear the clothes. You can't let the clothes wear you. So. That's a fact. That's a fact. Of course, I know you probably grew up playing like video games, and, and now you're in um, NBA All World. How, how does that feel? knowing that you're a character in a video game. I think it's crazy. Yeah, I played a whole bunch of video games, like coming up, probably like every video game that you could probably think of. So like the fact that I have my own character in a game, I think it's pretty lit. In fact, I could go in and play as myself, play with my people, is it? I think it's cool. It's a fact. So this NBA all world, playing all over the world, you know, getting to control your own character. Um, is there any a lot of places that you could tell us that you played in the world, that you had great experiences? Mm, I went to Greece for USA Basketball. Okay. I think that was probably one of the best experiences for me. Uh, we was able to walk around the city at night, um, go eat some good food out there, go by the water. Um, so yeah, it, it was a cool experience, especially I've never been to Greece, so that was my first time. So let's talk about your heritage, your background, man, on being Filipino. Mm. How, how big is this? It's, uh, to, my, to my knowledge, I think it's only three players in the NBA 
that's Filipino, um, you know, Jordan Clarkson yourself, and how important is that to be, you know, representing your culture in the, in the NBA? Uh, super big, you know, got the whole Philippines on my backside. They've been supporting me since like high school. And I recently had just went for like a little cultural experience. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they've been supporting me since before the NBA. So, I mean, it means a lot that they still rocking with me. What's up, I'm Jalen Green from the Houston Rockets, NBA All-World. Thank you for having me. I'll see you on the court.